Welcome back everyone to another video. So I hope you all are enjoying these beautiful summer days that we've been having. So I thought I would just take you along with us on a couple of those days and just share a little bit what is happening around here. So the first thing that we are going to do in today's video, we are heading out into the garden and our tomato plants have been needing some tomato cages. Um, they're kind of big. But anyway, we managed to get some tomato cages on them so that they could grow a little bit better. They were kind of starting to topple over. So we wanted to get that done um, right away. So we did that. We didn't quite have enough for all of our tomatoes, but we did some of them. And then just checking on these blackberries. I can't wait till these are ready. They're looking so good, but not quite ready yet. Next, we are heading up to the front of the house where we have our water feature. Y'all, these plants are just loving this water fountain. I can't even get the bowl out anymore because they have just grown and overtaken here, which is totally fine with me. I love how everything is looking, but I am just using a rag to clean out. There was a little bit of dirty water on the bottom and then just cleaning everything out, putting the little fountain back together and then popping that into the bottom. Then We'll just fill it up with some water to get this thing going again. I have really been loving this cute little water feature out front here. Just the sounds that it makes um, sitting out here and everything. Loving it. Um, and of course the kids love it too. This water to play in. Um, it's so much fun. It feels nice and cool on a warm day like today. The next thing that I am doing, this always hurts me to do, but I was told by someone that knows a lot better about gardening than I do to trim these petunias down once they start getting um, kind of scraggly looking, just trim them down really well. And yeah, it always hurts to cut off all of these blooms, but it just helps them to grow a little bit better and not be as scraggly, but more just a nice bush, um, if that makes sense. So I'm cutting these down this morning and then hopefully in a couple weeks, they'll really pop out and start to really fill out these containers. And then I had Jameson give them a good dose of water um, just to keep them nice and moist so that they keep growing for us. Another thing that we are going to be doing is just cleaning off the front porch. Um, Jameson almost had you there with the rug. But we are going to just clean everything off, get everything swept down, wiped, wiped down. Um, and just get it looking nice again. These summer days when the kids are home from school, sometimes it's a little challenging to have jobs for them, to keep them busy throughout the day with all the energy that they have. But it seems like giving them little jobs here and there, letting them help you with your own chores, just kind of helps them to feel like they're helping and they can help a lot um, if you just let them. And I'm just going to finish everything off by sweeping down all of the sidewalks and getting the grass and things off of that. And I am still loving my solar lights out here along the sidewalk. Alright, now that that is done, it is looking a lot better out here, nice and cleaned up. 
and we are ready for lunch. So I just made us some tostadas really quick. Um, I had these shells, then we just added refried beans, some fried chicken, cheese, avocado slices, and then some pico de gallo. This is the next day now, and we are going to be working here in the kitchen a little bit this morning. I'd wanted to do some other things here in the kitchen, um, but first of all, I needed to clean the kitchen. Um, it was kind of bothering me, and I just wanted to get everything cleaned up and the counters, tops wiped down and things before I started anything else. It was another gorgeous day outside, so pretty. You cannot beat these June days in our area. They're just perfect. Um, and I, it was kind of hard on me to be inside on this day, but it was one of those days I knew I had to get some things done inside the house so that hopefully I could go outside um, either later on that day or maybe the next day. Next we are going to give the sink a quick clean with my baking soda and lemon essential oil and then just scrubbing it really quickly and this gets it nice and sparkling clean every time. So this plant here always does really well outside during the summertime and it actually does better outside than it does indoors when it's nice and warm outside. So I'm just trimming it up and getting it ready to take outside on the front porch and there were some dead leaves and things that I was just taking out. So we're going to take this outside um, and see if we can't get it a little more healthy and get it growing really well this summer. Moving back inside the house, we are going to get the floors in the kitchen all swept and mopped.
Once we were done with the kitchen, we took a little trip into town. I wanted to get our pool water sample done and as well as do a little bit of Father's Day shopping. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll be right back. So once we got home, we got the goods, got everything for the pool. Um, we did a little Father's Day shopping as well. So now I'm going to just put in what needs to go in the pool to get this thing cleared up and ready for swimming. The last thing that we wanted to do today was just um, fill up this hole that has been growing in our yard. It's been getting deeper and deeper the longer we lived here. I don't know, is it a sinkhole? What is going on there? But Lamar is just going to fill it up with some dirt and get it packed in there really nicely um, so that we can reseed it and see what happens. And then we finished out our day with a nice walk in the evening. It was so pretty. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with us to these summer days and I will see you in the next video. Bye!